What's up everyone, Tate Town here. Welcome back to another video. I'm extremely excited because today we're gonna be opening up a mystery box, something that I seen and I just had to get. Now I purchased this on Black Friday. Unfortunately this year I didn't do a Black Friday video because I didn't purchase enough stuff to be able to make a Black Friday only video, like a haul video, but I am gonna be unboxing this today and I did purchase it for Black Friday. Now what this is, is a mystery box of Ghostbusters for the 35th anniversary. This is from Culture Fly. Now usually Culture Fly, whenever you buy these mystery boxes, whether it's from their sites or at Walmart, because Walmart does sell them, that's where I purchased them. Usually on the box somewhere, it tells you or shows you an image of everything that is included in this box. This one here in particular doesn't have any indication what's inside. It is a true mystery box. So I don't know if that's something new that Culturefly is doing or if it's just for this box alone, but that's why sometimes I don't enjoy the mystery boxes from Culturefly because it's not a true mystery box. They have on the outside everything that is included and that just is not a mystery to me. I know what's inside. So this here is regularly $35. I don't know if that's because it's the 35th anniversary. But this on sale, Black Friday, it wasn't a huge discount, but it was on sale for $30. So I decided to pick it up for myself and to open up on the channel since I love the Ghostbusters and the box itself looks so cool. So I'm going to open this up here, see what's inside. I have yet to open this up. I think this is really cool. Let's get started here. I'm, I don't have any uh, Ghostbuster collectibles, so I'm hoping there's something cool inside. And it is packed full. I'm trying to open it here. Right on top with the Culture Fly boxes, it's not like a loot crate or something where you can open it randomly and see each thing separately without spoiling anything. As soon as you open this up, you see everything. So I know what's in here right off the bat. Up first is this is really cool. This is an air freshener of the Ecto Echo One. Look how cool that work that looks works. Jeez. Look how cool that is. That might be something that I'll have to put in my truck. Now my truck is named Venom, uh, my 2021 Dodge Ram, which I have yet to share with you guys. Hopefully soon I'll do a review, but winter's here now and I don't know if I wanna do a review in the snow, as long as it's not snowing and blowing maybe, but this is something I might actually put in my truck and actually use. The next item, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the cool, uh, uh, amazing thing to the very end. There's something really cool in here and I'm, so cool, so cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out on it. I'm gonna show it as the last item that's in this box. Uh, so moving on is crew socks, which I don't like mystery boxes that have socks in them because I have size 13 feet and these aren't gonna fit me. The heel is gonna be basically the bottom of my foot. So these are gonna go to my girlfriends. Um, I think that is really cool, but yeah, they, I know they won't fit me. Not even gonna try. They're uh, really small. I, like, I don't like the one size fits all for socks and hats for mystery boxes because even the hats, I had a gaming box a while back uh, and had a follow hat, a Fallout hat in it. It doesn't fit my head, so I have it for collecting purposes, but not to actually use. Uh, I'm trying to dig out the next item here. It's kind of uh, everything's packed so well in this box. Ooh, that's cool. It's classic Ghostbusters um, coasters. So that's really cool. Uh, normally I'll look in the uh, lens, but I'm actually, cause I'm so cool. I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at the viewfinder whenever I'm showing this stuff instead of in the lens. Let's see if I can get them out here. Okay, they're corked. Obviously I wasn't expecting metal or uh, the high quality plastic, but still look really cool. And you have the characters of Ghostbusters on them. That's really cool. I like the green. I like the design of them. That looks really cool. Look at that. That looks so cool. Last one here. They're uh, kind of sticking together. I don't know if that means some are going to be damaged and some aren't, but they are uh, sticking together a little bit. Next up, um, I don't even know what it is. It's encased in this box here. Uh, it is a, ooh, that's really cool. A Stay Puff mini uh, planter, which is really cool. Let's open that up and take a closer look. This is really cool. This is uh, hopefully going to look cool. Get the little piece of foam out. That looks so cool. That's going to be on my shelf. Um, I got to figure out 
um, where I'm going to put it and how I'm going to use it. Uh, but here it is. It is the head of Stay Puff. So look how cool that is. That is so iconic, so classic looking. Um, love, love the Ghostbusters. So this is something that I don't have any of his figures in the in my collection whatsoever. So that's really cool. It's a nice ceramic one. I didn't show that part there. Uh, it is a planter, so you can plant in it and it has a hole for draining water, but I'm not gonna use it for plants. I'm likely going to possibly put pens in it. Um, and use it for that. So it does look cool. It is gonna be something that I actually use uh, and it's gonna be great to just put on the shelf with pens in it and add to my collection. So now that that is done, the fifth and final item is the one that I was uh, raving about. I'm just gonna move the box out of the way here. Uh, this is so cool. This is the coolest thing I've opened in a mystery box. And I'm literally gonna say this is by far the best mystery box I have ever received and ever opened on the channel. I've done other ones recently. I've done one from uh, Entertainment Inc. that has a few comic books and Marvel stuff in it. Keychains key and other things that you see in my collection here are from mystery boxes. But this figure alone is the best item I ever received out of a mystery box. It is just so cool and it's just something that I didn't know existed. So enough talking about it and hyping it up. Let's just show this collectible. It is a collectible figure of Slimer. Look how much detail, look how cool that is. Look how large it is. That is sick. That is so cool. I expected if they're gonna put a figure in, it would be a small figure, but definitely Slimer is a great, great figure. And if you can tell, if you guys are familiar with the first Ghostbuster movies, uh, the original ones, that is the original one. It's a classic Slimer. It's not like uh, some of the other ones. That is really cool. So this is definitely, it's just all the goop on the bottom there. That is cool. So this is a figure that looks like if you took it out of the box, it would stand up on its own. Uh, it has the green base on the bottom here that he's all connected to. So it probably would. However, I don't like taking anything out of the boxes. That's just how I am. Other than... I say that, and right behind me here is the uh, Joker figure. I took it out of the box, um, so maybe I should go back on what I just said, but this is definitely staying in the box. That is so cool. The box has the slime on it, says what it is. That is really cool. I'm gonna keep this in the box. That is awesome. So I think I'm gonna have to put a uh, Ghostbuster shelf together, or at least a part shelf, maybe a half shelf. I know this shelf here I want to uh, get rid of and put in away in storage and the one above it, which is also hockey. So maybe I'll have a uh, Ghostbuster shelf whenever I make these videos. It'll have some more Ghostbuster contents. I think I might do that. That would be really cool. And one thing that I really want to do and get is a die cast Echo 1. In the other room last year for Christmas, my girlfriend got me, I have it stored away right now, got me the Echo 1 license plate because I like collecting license plate and that's something I want to do in my man cave whenever we move out. I have the Echo 1 license plate so I definitely could put together a nice little Ghostbusters display but I don't think I have enough to fill a full shelf so I'll have to put half one thing half another but this is the best mystery box I've ever got. Usually with Culture Fly with the Avengers ones, sometimes I'm a little disappointed. Sometimes there is stuff that is damaged or stuff that isn't necessarily the greatest from Culture Fly, but this is by far the best mystery box from Culture Fly and the best mystery box I have opened from the channel. It beats all of the Loot Crate boxes, Geek Fuel boxes, the Zek box. It beats every kind of mystery box I've opened here on the channel because of this one figure itself. That is so cool and I'm extremely happy. And now I know in the future, if I see a Walmart mystery box, as long as it doesn't tell me what's on the outside, there's a couple of Nintendo ones I've been looking at. But again, Culturefly usually always puts what is in the box, not just like a couple items. Sometimes it even shows the picture of exactly what's in the box. So to me, that's not a mystery box anymore. That's just a box of goodies. This here was a true mystery box. It didn't tell me what's inside and I got amazing stuff out of it. The socks, again, don't fit me. The coasters are cool, but I won't actually use them as coasters. The Stay Puff figure is amazing. The air freshener is amazing. And this figure is by far my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.